welcome to our channel. Yeah. Welcome to the first ever twin tutorials. <laughs> okay. Um, if you haven't gotten the gist, we are twins, identical twins, identical twins, and we love makeup. So love makeup. So we are here to show you how to get the look that we are wearing today. And we hope that you enjoy it. Mm -hmm. And if you like us, subscribe to our channel. And I don't know, continue watching. Mm -hmm. We'll see you. Well, you can record, but I'm going to wipe my, my eye. <laughs> right. Okay. So our faces are prepped. We have done our foundation, we did our contouring, our bronzing, our eyebrows. And we're ready to go. Pretty much. Our, we wanted to kind of keep this video a little bit simple. We just wanted to focus on the eyes. Mm -hmm. um, we both have very different techniques when we put our foundation on. Yeah. And we figured we'd just save it for another day. Another day, another video. Yeah. 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 I'm just situating myself right here. <laughs> Sorry. We are twin tutorials. What we try to do is use, when we're doing the eyes, use one palette and use it two different ways. So yeah. today we are using the Morphe Duh. palette. Uh, and it is, what is it? The 35R. 30, 35R. And sort of like an old man. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this is what it looks like, as you can see. I'm gonna do just kind of like a, a matte, uh, subtle eye look. Um, and I'm gonna go for a smoky, smoldering look. Oh, it's gonna be smoldering. Smoldering to go to a softball game. Yes. Us. We're going to a softball game, our nieces, yeah. and we're gonna look great, mm -hmm. right? I mean, we're just yeah. gonna look too hot to try. I can't snap. <laughs> Think. Our looks are very versatile. Mm -hmm. Um. You can, they're not so outrageous. There's no, I mean, not like we don't like the looks, I mean, but yeah. there's no cut crease. There's no extreme uh, coloring, you know, like neons and stuff. Just things you can do every day. Go to work. Yeah. Go to work. Go, go to a softball game. Softball game. Uh, go to Ulta. A date. Oh, a date. First, we're going to start with a transition shade. I'm going to go in with this color right here. And it's a little bit of kind of like a light taupey color. Mm -hmm. And that's the color I'm going to take into the crease. And it's going to be the color that I blend the rest of, of everything out with. And I'm going to go in this color right here. Um, it's also like a light brown, very like a bronzy look. Yeah. Um, I'm using the Morphe M441. I don't know how you like to start, but I like to kind of tip my head back just a little bit because then I can get like a nice view over my creases. And then I just start to lightly apply it into my crease. And I with windshield. You just go in? I just go in. With windshield wiper motions, I kind of just go back and forth. I take the transition shade all the way out. I do too. I take it from. I mean, this just is the transition shade, you know, so I take it from the outer corner all the way to the inner. Okay, now I'm going to go in with a Tarte double ended brush. Uh, sorry, I don't know the name of this. I actually got it in a palette, but I just like this flat brush to um, do my next shade with. So I'm going to go in with a darker brown, this color right here, and that's going to be the start of my smoky eye, and I'm going to take it, blend it from the out in with small amounts. From the out in. Out in. Start it on the outside, tap it on. That's just where you're going to get your heaviest tap, amount. Tap, tap, tap. tap. Tabaroni. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with a little bit darker shade. I'm just going to go in with this color right here. Um, it's just a little bit darker of a brown. And I'm going to just put it on my outer corner because I really want to add some dimension to my eyeball. Yeah. So I actually live in Florida and I'm up visiting. Mm-hmm. For the summer. I feel like a snowbird. Our birthday was just recently, so she had to come up. Mm -hmm. 
or the twan thing. The twan. The twan thing. thing. Yeah. So then what I like to do is I take that same brush that I used before for the transition shade and I just kind of buff it out just to make sure it's all nice and blended, of course. And as you can see, the difference between the eyes, very minimal, but you can tell. Can you tell? Oh, yeah, I can. Oh, yeah. This one? This one is the one I did it with. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to go into my inner corners because I want, since I want this all to blend very nicely, I'm going to go start with my inner corner and use a lighter shade. I'm going to go back to the Morphe 412 brush because um, it's a great pointed shading brush. And I'm going to go into this light color in here and, and put it in the inner corner and then just blend out. This will give it a really nice blended look. We, we, we're not professional makeup artists by any no, means. No. We haven't I'm taken any classes. Nurse, man. Yeah. I'm a professional whatever I want to be for the day. Yeah. We were actually at Ulta today. That's why there's some swatches on us. And yeah. It's bad. Especially when we go alone, it's bad. But when we get together, it's like, oh, well, you know, we, we should get this. that. That, looks, yeah. that would look really good on your skin. Agreed. Yeah. So excuse the, the bra that keeps showing. I mean... I still can't get my sizes right after having a child. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go back in with some of that transition color. Okay, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go in with, if I can find it, I just dropped it, um, a very small liner brush. I mean, this I think is an eyeliner brush, but I use it um, as an eyeshadow brush. I'm gonna put a dark brown, actually I'm gonna use this color right here. Um, and I'm going to put it in my lash line and I'm going to do this instead of using eyeliner because it's not as intense mm -hmm. um, and it's just easier to build. And I'm going to start building again on that smoky look and I'm going to use the darkest shade which is this color right here. I'm just going to tap little areas because it is dark and you don't want to over... Yeah, because it's hard to overshadow the other shadows. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you see that one? I saw that one. I heard it. Well, you heard it. I heard you it. You heard. Don't worry. I'm gonna clean this hot mess up at the end. Well, you can't clean your your whole face. I mean, that's just a hot mess, no matter what. <laughs> a lot of people ask us how being a twin is, and if we've ever kind of like switched places, and the answer is no, no. I think it's different. That's too predictable. I always say, like, I think it's different being a twin. Like, you just, your whole life, you just try to separate yourself. Yeah, that's true. When, well, our mom specifically asked us, or not asked us, but told the school to split us up mm -hmm. when we were in elementary um, because we would constantly fight. Yeah. <laughs> I dropped it. So when we got to junior high, I mean, we were like, okay, I mean, but we were just sisters. Um, and the same as in high school. And I think once we graduated high school, that's when we became like really, really close. Yeah. Because we realized like, oh, she doesn't have to be my mortal enemy. It's actually fun, you know, having such a close sister. Yeah, you always have a best friend. Yeah, you always have two wardrobes. I'm gonna take a blending brush. This is by e.l.f. Um, and I'm just gonna kind of rub it. <laughs> that's what she said. I'm gonna just kind of smudge it. So I'm gonna start with this color right here which is more of like a bronzy color. And then kind of start in the middle. But I used to be in finance. I'm an accounting major in school, have my CPA. I still maintain it. Um, so I used to have to do minimal looks going into the office. That's just how I fell into the more neutral subtle looks because of my profession. And I work night shift in a hospital, so I don't really care. You yeah, know what? Even if I work day shift, I don't really give a crap. <laughs> your patients are, like, dead when they come to you. So, well, you're in that unit, <sighs> you know? So, I mean, you can wear as crazy-ass makeup as you want, and they're not going to say anything. All right, so I'm going to go into a more gold color at this point, and that would be this color right here. And what I'm going to do is I want this to be, like, pop in. Okay, so I'm going to spray it with the Fix Plus by MAC. I don't really care. Just a little spritz just to kind of deepen that, that gold color. And that's going to go in the center. I'm going to take a flat Morphe brush and I'm going to go in with a very, I'm not doing any shimmers today. I just like to lighten up that 
inner corner. I'm going to go back in with some of that light color that I used at the beginning in the inner corner just to kind of blend it all together. So now to blend the top with the bottom, I'm going to work at the bottom of my eyes and I'm going to go in with this Morphe 507 pencil brush and I'm going to go back in with some of the colors that I used on the top. So I'm going to start with the transition shade, this brown color here, and kind of put it at the bottom. I'm going to start doing the same. I'm going in with a, a nice little pencil brush on, and I'm going to go with the first color as well. Um, and. I'm just going to put that on my lower lash line. So after that transition shade is laid down very lightly, I'm going to go back in with the second brown color that I used with the same pencil brush and then apply that, but only going like halfway in. This is how you're going to get that shading. So then I'm going to go back in with the light color with the same pencil brush again and go all the way in the inner corner. And then I'm going to take that gold color on a Morphe 408... What is this brush? What is it? It's like a little flat brush. Yeah. It's like a crease. I don't know. And I'm just going to plop it right in the center there. Yeah, and I'm going to start to go into uh, my highlighted brow. So what I'm going to actually use is I'm going to use uh, the Tarte Amazonian Clay. It's a highlighter. It's not an uh, specific eyeliner, highlighter, whatever. Um, and it's called Stunner. And it's the 12-hour highlighter uh, Amazonian Clay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take another synthetic flat brush by Morphe. And I'm just going to take a little bit of that. And I am going to just put it on my high. My brow bone. Look at that. Can you see that? Can you see I it? can't see it because you're going Can you see look. it? Can you see it? Yeah. Now, I'm going to try to clean up my eyes a little bit. And since I'm pasty white, I'm going to go in with my MAC um, shimmering, or was it a shivering? Shivering. Shivering white compact. And just kind of clean my eyes up a little bit. And I'm just highlighting my inner corner. Okay, and then I'm going to highlight with... What should I use? I don't know. Well, I think I'll use a Jeffree Star. Oh, Jeffree Star. Okay, so I'm going to take the Skin Frost Ice Cold Highlighter and I'm going to highlight my upper brow. I know. And then corner. I'm going to highlight my inner corner. And remember kids, more is better with highlighter. Okay. Okay. So I guess we're going to do mascara now, right? Yeah. Wait. All right. All right. So. so. <laughs> See? Twin thing. Yeah. Actually, I think we're gonna do the same. Well, first, before you do that, I have to go in with an eyeliner because that's what's just gonna set the whole okay. deal. So I'm taking a Sigma E10 eyeliner brush and the Ingla. I'm just gonna place it on my bottom lid, eyelid, my water, my water line. So, okay, starting with the tight line by it. It's so tiny. You just you just go right in. And, like, you do your lashes. I don't know. Well, how many coats do you put on? Oh, just one coat of this. Should do it. Okay. And then you do the same for the bottom. Very fun. I always like to spread out. Like, I don't put on mascara like the normal human person does. Oh, excuse me. And no matter what, no matter how many times I practice it, I mean... Oh, I always get through the black dots everywhere. All right, is so that one you have Another IT product is the IT Superhero Mascara. Oh, see, black dot already. I guess I'm just like impatient. Yeah, I'd have to say you are. And then top and bottom, because I <gasps> love- See? What the hell 
are you doing? <laughs> That'll wipe off. You have to kind of... Oh, see, you made me do it now. You have to kind of like keep your head straight. Okay. Done with my lashes. Done okay, so lashes. I guess we're going to finish our face Done and look. Perfect. So are we going off screen to do the rest of our things? And then yeah. we'll come back in screen? Yeah. Okay. And ta-da! We are done! Uh, we have finished our faces. And through the magic of television, our highlight and bronzing and lipstick is all our hair is all pretty. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> this is the finished look. And honestly, I feel that me and you could go out and be fabulous tonight. I think so too. But we're gonna just go to a softball game. Yeah. So like, I feel you can take this look from day to night. Yeah. From boardroom to bar. <gasps> you know, if you guys want to see any more tutorials, uh, if you have anything in mind that you want us to do, whether it be a reviewing of a product or any kind of makeup look, just comment down below and we'll take a look and then we'll shoot the video for you. Yeah. Um, we're up for anything and if you really like this video, give us a thumbs up. So subscribe to our channel. And um, we will see you in the future with more videos. Yes, thanks for watching the first twintorial. <laughs> yeah, woo! All right, bye. 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 Now, this is serious, guys, so we may have to be quiet. Why? Have stink face. I'm only doing two coats of this shit because. Ugh.